All right, it's Mr. Kanyele once more. I want us to continue with the application of calculus. Remember, there will be keywords. When you see maximum, we know that we've got to let the derivative be equal to zero. We express something in terms of something. Think of the volume. Volume is nothing else but the area of the base times height. We're given this uh, rectangular box. Determine the height of the box in terms of x. Now, let's, let's read the storyline so that we'll understand here. A rectangular box is constructed in such a way that the length of the base is three times as long as its width. So the base, the length is three times longer than the base. The material used to construct the top and the bottom of the box cost hydrogen. There are costs involved here per square meter. The material used to construct the sides of the box, 50 rand per square meter. The box must hold a volume, we're given a volume here, and let the width of the box be equal to x. Let, let's capture that. Um, a rectangular box is constructed in such a way that the length of the base, which is this part, the length of the base is three times as long as its width. And its width is x, so it means this one will be 3x. We got that from that information. The cost used to construct the top and the bottom. Let me just write my notes on the side. The material used to construct the top cost for top and bottom. How much? The material used to construct the top and the bottom of the box costs 100 rand. The cost is 100 rand for top and bottom per square meter. The material used to construct the sides. I want to talk about the sides now. How much is the material for the sides? It's 50 rand. I'm just picking up this information per square meter. The box have a volume of 9 meter cubed. I'm picking up the volume now. The volume is 9 meter cubed. Let the width, the breadth of the box be x meters. All right. I think we've captured everything that we, we, we need there. Let the breadth be, the width be uh, x. That's what we have. The first question for three points. Determine the height of the of the height of the box in terms of h. We want the height, but what is it that we are given here? We are given the volume, and what is the volume? Volume is nothing else but the area of the base times height, the one that we are looking for. So volume is the area of the base times height. Determine the height of the box in terms of x. Let's do that. We know that volume is equal to area of the base times h in this case times height uh, so my volume is equal to what is the area of the base it is length times breadth times x times h this is what the volume is area of the base times height and I know what this L is. I've got to express this in terms of x. And L is the same as 3x. I substitute. I know what the volume is. What is my volume? We're given volume as 9 meter cubed. So this 9 will be equal to what is my length? It is 3x times x. It will be 3x squared times that h. This is my, my volume. But remember, I want to make h the subject. We divide by 3x on both sides. 3x squared, we divide by 3x squared. Right, so that can go with that. What are we left with? h will, is therefore equals to 3 into 9, 369 goes 3 times over x squared. This is what we have h is 3 over x squared. I've expressed h in terms of x. Yes, it is in terms of x. That's how I go about to doing the first one. We we'll move on. Show that the cost to construct the box can be expressed as, as we were doing in the previous question, at times you'll be required to press something, express something in terms of something. In this particular case, show that the cost to construct the box can be expressed as c is equal to that uh, value that we're given there. Okay, we've got to show that. Uh, let's, let's look at this box. We want the cost of this box and they've given us the answer that we must get. We are therefore saying the cost 
is equal to the cost of the, all these sites. This is where the, the total surface area comes in handy. We're looking at all the surfaces that we have in this box. Remember, this is a closed box. If it was an open box, we're not going to involve the top. But this is just a box. Uh, there's nothing said this is an open. All right. How many surfaces do we have? We've got this surface, that surface, this surface, that surface, then we've got the top and the bottom. And the costs are not the same. That becomes important. Let me start with my front view. What is the surface area of this part? It is 3x times, it's this times this, times h. 3x times h, this is the front part. But this is multiplied by two. How much does it cost? These are the sides. Remember, these are the sides. The sides, they cost 50 rand. Right. I repeat, this is the side, front side. The surface area of this part, it will be 3x times h, because these are the same. So it's 3x times h. How many of these? There are two, the one at the back, there are two. How much do they cost the sides? They cost 50 rand. Plus, because one, the cost of the total uh, area of this box. Let's go to the sides. I'm just dealing with the sides, and the sides they cost 50 rand. Let's come, let me come to this side. It's this x times h, right? It is x times h, right? x times h. How many sides do we have there? There are two. How much do they cost the sides? They cost 50 rand, right? I think it's coming up clearly. Let's talk about the top and the bottom, and I know how much it costs. So it's plus the area of the top and the bottom, so it's this times that. It is 3x times x. How many of these? There are two. How much are they costing? Top and the bottom is 100 rand. Right, that's what we have. That's what we have so far. This is the total cost of this box. Remember, this is what we must get at the end of the day. We must get this at the end of the day. I'm not interested in that. I understand what I'm trying to do there. Right, let's do this thing. Then the cost will be equals to. I've already calculated H as this. I've got to substitute all this H in that form. 50 times 2, it's 100 into 3x times. What is my H? My h is 3 over x squared. 3 over x squared. That's what we have there in the first part. The other sides, this is this times this, it's 100 into x times h again. It's 3 over x squared. Because there's no h there expressed in terms of x. Plus 100 times 2, it is 200 into 3x squared. That's what we have. Alright, that's what we have. Starting to shake shape. It's starting to, to, to I, I'm starting to see where this is leading me. Let's do this thing. The cost will then be equal to, uh, let's do this thing. What is 3x, okay. This x here, 1x here will go with this x. That's good. What is 3 times 3? It's 9. 9 times 100, it is 900. This is all over x. That's what we have this side. Let's try and look at the other side. Same thing applies here. 1x here, because there are two x's here. So 1x will go with this x. So what is 1 times 100 times 3? It will be plus 300. This x is gone. I'm only left with 1x this side. Let's try and work it out the other side. Plus, what is 200 times 3? What is 2 times 3? It's 600. X squared. Ah, this one is already that one. So I'm covered with this one. So I've got to find the other one. Let's do this thing. So our cost will then be equal to 2. Look at this 2. They are both divided by what? They are both divided by X. What is 900 plus 300? It is 1,200 plus 600 x squared. Exactly what we wanted to get. This is exactly that. 
So it is true that the cost can be expressed in that way. Remember the, the idea here was to understand the total surface areas. This was added in there just to try and confuse us. Now I want us to look at the last part, 11.3. Calculate x. If the cost is a minimum, that is that keyword again for about four points. That is that keyword again, minimum or maximum. Remember what we said, when we see minimum or maximum, we let our derivative be equal to zero. So we've got to let the cost be equal to zero for maximum. Now let's do this thing. Uh, number one, this is my cost. Is it arranged? in the form of ax to the power n? No, it is not. I will need to arrange it in that first before I, I differentiate. So my cost is in actual fact equals to, I take x on top, it's one, two, zero, zero, x to the power minus one. It was power one here, if I take it up, it becomes power to the minus one. This other one is smooth, it is plus 600 x squared. Then let, Cost prime be equal to zero. I let the derivative now be equal to zero because at minimum there is no gradient. Gradient at minimum, and when we differentiate, we'll, it, that's when we're looking for the gradient. And the gradient it is zero at, at, at minimum. Calculate x if c is a minimum. Now let's differentiate this. Let's differentiate this times that. It will be minus 1200 x to the power minus 2. Let's differentiate this one. This times this, it will be plus 6 times 2, it's 12. 1,200 also. x to the power, if we minus 1 there, it will be 1. This derivative is equal to 0. That's what we have. Right? Remember, we're looking for the value of x in this case. Uh, what is the best way to do this? Or oh, let me take it that side so that this will be positive and see what happens. I've got 1,200x equals to, take it that side, it will be 1,200 over x squared. That's what we have. That's what we have so far. Cross multiply, right? Let's cross multiply. This will be x cubed. Ah. It will be x cubed is equals to 1200 over 1200. So x cubed will be equals to 1. Therefore, x, what is the cube root of 1? It is 1. Uh, this was given in meters. So this is the, this distance here, it was going to be a 1, 1 meter. Thank you.